Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'll show you how you can control uh, what columns will appear in a Microsoft list um, form and also in a document library uh, content uh, panel. So we'll, I'm now in a communication site and I will go to a, a list that I created and I have um, a request column, responsible, and status. If I um, create a new form, I will see here on the top right, edit form. If I click edit, I can choose which columns I want to show in a form or not. There's also a possibility here to edit the conditional formal and then you can decide uh, based on uh, a condition. So if I uncheck this status and save, next time I open the form, the status, oops, let's refresh. Now the status has uh, disappeared. If I edit again and mark it and save it, and the best thing is to reload then um, now the status is back notice that if we go to the uh, detail panel we can also yeah, let's choose an item we have here actually edit columns that brings us to the the same uh, situation. Now, what what if we want to control the the columns that appear here in a document library? So it's very similar. I'll go to a document library that I have created. I will mark one of the documents. Go to the I here, and what I can do is scroll down until I find edit column. In this case, I would like to hide the due date so I'll uncheck it notice that you have also the possibility to edit the conditional formula formula I'll press save to refresh and if I uh, mark a document and scroll down under the detail panel now I should not see the due date you see if I want to bring it back, press edit and save again and you see the due date has a... Uh, so this is the modern way to do it before you needed to go to the content type and do other things. Um, so it's much easier. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to my channel uh, and check this feature both in uh, Microsoft List or SharePoint or in Document Library. Have a good day. Thank you. Goodbye.